Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life. Hammer dulcimer lessons. This is lesson six, part six of learning a tune from scratch. And we've talked about finding the harmony notes, just as a quick review. We've talked about using the octaves. We've talked about mixing them. We've talked about playing in different octaves. We've talked about playing notes together and separate. And most important of all this is mixing it all together. We've talked about chord, playing it in chords. We talked about droning. And we talked about mixing that up with chords. So today we're going to talk about, we're going to do this next week as well, but this is a way to uh, syncopate your tune. And this is a pattern that you can use. Uh, for several different songs and again, mix it up. So let's just start because our melody note of Boy Them Cabbages starts on this third course. Let's just play that. And we're gonna play the third, second, first. And you want it to be hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. Then your left hand is going to come up and catch that third course. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. Right, left, right, left, right. And it's just switching every time, but it's hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. Now, we've just run down from the third course twice. That only gives us, it doesn't give us a full measure, one and two and three and we need two more notes. So we're going to play the third and the first. And every time you hit the highest note of that rundown, you're going to play that note harder. So the first time will be with your right hand left hand, right hand. So what you want to be able to do, and that'll, you know, if we moved it up one. And you can do that all over your instrument. The secret is hitting that top note harder. So let's go back to the song. Now we can't do it here. So you're just gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and and actually you wouldn't end it with that um, let's see how we want to end this However you want, you can, you're not going to end it with that little run. But if you speed that up, you know, 
<clears throat> something of that nature, you want to learn that pattern. Now, this little exercise, if you're not used to striking both hammers, in, in other words, not this, this is hard, 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 hard. That's, that's not what we're showing you. You want to do... You're predominantly hearing this note. So what you want to do is start off very, very slow. And you want to slowly start to speed that up. And what you'll notice is the faster you play it, you're going to have a tendency to strike harder with everything. So you need to really, really work on this. This is a super, super short lesson, but what I'm showing you can take you weeks to develop. That's why I'm trying to do these in little bitty increments that you can actually learn these techniques instead of just learning a song, learn these techniques, and you can put that in other songs as well. Uh, Soldier's Joy. put that in a lot of different songs. So that's just another uh, syncopated technique. So work on that for this week and then we'll give you another one next week. Uh, we'll either do another syncopated technique or we're going to turn this into three-quarter timing and make it a waltz. But we'll do that for our last two lessons for the month of October. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's a help and a blessing to you. If you're learning from these lessons, uh, well, two things. I, I think I'm going to do this for the remainder of the month for sure. But November, I may start this whole process over with another tune. Or we may go back to just learning a tune uh, and then coming back. And if you have input, if you have a suggestion please leave it in the comment below and I'll go through and I'll, I'll consider, you know, what direction we're going to go with this. But I want you to be able to learn and I want you to enjoy this. If you're taking these lessons, if you're consuming, if you're learning these lessons, it's because there are those who are giving back, those who are investing in their own learning process. And when you invest in your own learning process, it is a proven fact you learn better simply because there is an investment. Uh, if I charged for these lessons, uh, I would charge $25. Uh, actually, for a live lesson, I'd charge $25 for half an hour. If I did these online and sold them as lessons, they'd probably be around $10 a lesson. And patrons can start off with $5 a month. And that helps support this program so these lessons can remain free. With that, you get a free one-hour workshop uh, right there. Fifteen. That's actually a twenty-dollar uh, value right there every single month. Uh, that is added. Uh, that's part of the the five dollars, and then above that, you get books and CDs. Uh, some people support ten, some people fifteen. By the way, I have I have a person who doesn't even take lessons on any instrument who supports this work because they like the idea that everybody can take these lessons and that these lessons are free. So if you're taking these lessons, uh, I would ask you to consider becoming a patron. Patrons, thank you for making this possible. I do hope this is a help and a blessing to each and every one of you. We will see you next week for your next lesson. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like the video. And if you're not subscribed, uh, subscribe. So thanks so much. God bless. We'll see you soon. Bye.